Hey guys, welcome back here. We're back in another rebuild. I know it's been a minute here, but we're going to be taking on the Oakland Raiders in this one. And this should be a good one. This should be a good one. We got John Gruden leading things. He looks like he's revamped the Raiders. I'm not going to lie. I'm a Chiefs fan, but hey, he's done pretty well. Looks like Derek Carr is finally kind of getting back to that MVP season he had. Just didn't look the same since then. I know he did break his leg in that season, but... He's starting to finally get back there. I think he leads the NFL in completion rates, which is pretty nice. And obviously, I, I think this offense rolls through the running back. Offensive line's obviously nasty. It's the biggest O-line in the league, weight-wise at least. Got some nasty guys on it. Trent Brown, Hudson, who's a superstar center. Just don't get much better than these guys up front. I mean, they traded away freaking Osimile. They lost some players. They even lost Donald Penn, who was good for him for a couple years. Man, yeah, they've they got some people out here. They also have Darren Waller, who's got a lot of upside. Pretty young tight end. Only 26. He's got an 81 overall. He can fly with the best of them, bro. He's got 88 speed, 93 catching? Hello? Is this real life? Okay, I'll take it, man. That's, he's going to be a monster for us. Then we got Zay Jones. He's a monster in the sim. I mean, we got some nasty guys out here. Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro to play the slot. I'm not mad at our offense at all. Josh Jacobs can do it all. He's got hidden development, already an 81 overall. Jesus. Doesn't have great speed, but he's, he'll do everything. He'll do everything pretty decently for you. So I'm liking the offense. What's Derek Carr looking like? This is the big thing. So he's 28. He's not going to upgrade much. He's got okay accuracies for me. I'm not mad at those. 90 short. To be honest, I'm probably going to roll with Derek Carr until he has a season that just is really bad. Or if he just doesn't look like he's going to get us to the promised land. That's when we'll look to replace that. Obviously, defense is going to be a huge need. Cornerbacks are almost laughable here for the Raiders. Um, safeties, I actually do like the safeties. They got a real nice core here in LaMarcus Joyner. Carl Joseph, we'll see if we want to bring him back. I think his contract's up this year, but I definitely like the pickup of Joyner. Linebackers need a bit improving. D-line, we'll see if Farrell can be somebody for us. I do like Maurice Hurst up the middle. Probably want Hankins to play the D-tackle spot, to be honest. And the Max Crosby's been great IRL, but we'll see what he can do in the sim here. But defense 100% needs improved upon. Let's go ahead and set our goal here. I think we get about... Eh, I don't know about playoffs. I'll go seven wins. I don't know if we're a playoff caliber team yet, but we're, we're very close. We're very close. We have a nice squad to work with. So let's get to midseason. Okay, wow. Okay, so we got some big people to resign here. Rodney Hudson wants to come back, and I'm actually going to get that deal done because I've played with him in a like the fifth year I've traded for him, and he hangs on to that overall pretty decently. Usually superstar players do, so we'll keep on hang on to him. Richie Incognito, definitely going to let him go. Not a whole lot of upside here. Bit of a maniac. We all know this. And he's 36, so that's going to be a hard pass. Darren Waller, yes. He's getting re-signed. That's not even a whole lot of money for the caliber of a tight end he is. Carl Joseph, you see, I'd love to bring him back. He's 25. It's a bit tough, though. It's a bit tough. How big of a cap hit is it? It's not letting us see right now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That zone coverage and tackling's not great. And he wants a decent-sized cap hit. That's about 5 mil a year. I feel like we can get a better safety than that. We might let Carl Joseph go. Should have thrown him on the trade block. Um, yeah, besides that, that's that's pretty much it there. So, gonna let Carl Joseph test. We'll bring back Darren Waller and Rodney Hudson. And we should be looking pretty nice. All right, so no playoffs here for us. We do finish. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's really freaking bad. 2-12-2? Two, two? Uh, yikes. That's a big yikes for me, bro. Wow. How? I don't get that. So it's nothing like they're playing right now. That's not good. So yearly awards. We'll check this out real quick. MVP goes to Drew Brees. Okay, Tom's up there. Are we in there at all? No, definitely didn't think we would be. AFC, I just want to check out the Offensive Player of the Year. Not in that. Defensive Player. Ooh, to hear Whitehead up there. That's kind of impressive. Offensive Rookie. Yes, we won it for Josh Jacobs. Wow, Hunter Renfro's right behind him. 
Josh Jacobs, though, should have a nice bit of XP to work with. Then we got Mullen up there a little bit. But nothing too spectacular. Go ahead and check out the stats. Derek Carr had a okay year. I'm not mad at those numbers. 3,700 yards, 28 touchdowns, 12 picks. Need to improve on the completion rate, which is a little odd, considering he leads the NFL in that currently. But who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Rushing here, we get Josh Jacobs. Has a pretty nice year, 1,100 yards. 4.2 average, four t only four touchdowns is a little rough, but it looks like uh, Jalen Richard took a couple of those away. He only had 78 carries, seven touchdowns, so he probably got a couple of those carries in the red zone. Derek Carr scrambled a bit. Receiving here, how do we do? 67 receptions, 900 yards, seven TDs by Williams. Ooh, Hunter Renfro with a monster year. That's, that's a really great year by Hunter Renfro. 57, 908. He averaged 16.3 yards of reception. Jesus. Zay Jones. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely hoping we can keep this receiving core together. I, I really do like it. Darren Waller. I'd have hoped for a little more production there. Josh Jacobs. Pretty nice freaking year, if you ask me. Uh, let's go ahead and check out blocking. How did we hold up there? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, now, that's a little too unrealistic for me. The uh, Raiders have had a one of the best offensive lines this year. And then Trent Brown and is just going to allow 12. And he's been a pretty nice addition for them. Defensively here, we get 110 tackles by Whitehead. 106 by Marshall. 96 by Joseph. Yeah, oh, that's going to be hard to replace. But we're going to have to replace him because we did not sign him. Sa oh, we didn't get any sacks at all, dude. Our main sack guy had four, and he was a linebacker. Okay, that's not good <laughs> at all. That's not what you want to see. Interceptions, we got three by Lawson here, two by Whitehead. Oh, wow. We just didn't get turnovers on defense. That'll do it for you. Just no pressure and no turnovers. So we know what we got to address. Offense didn't look like it was the problem. So I, I, th I think defense, if we address that a bit, that's going to help us out massively. But let's go ahead and hop into free agency here. See if there's any big name players available. All right, guys. So there's definitely a lot of talent available here. We, to, uh, to be honest, we don't have the best cap situation. And I'm looking to go after some big name players right away. So we're going to go after Chris Jones, who has an X factor. Um, he wants a lot of money. I'm actually going to increase it a bit more. Because I really want him. I really freaking want him bad. And, wow, that, that would be massive, considering he played for Kansas City. He's in the division. They're likely the team we're going to have to take out to make the playoffs. I like everything about this. I mean, he's got great stats everywhere. I mean, he's got great moves, got good block shed, finesse move, literally anything you would want in a lineman. He's got, and we know he struggled getting pressure, so we're going to go after Chris Jones and Yannick Ngakwe here coming over from Jacksonville, if he accepts. Um, yeah, we, we just need defensive line help. Considering we're playing a 4-3, getting pressure is going to be huge. So I think getting these guys, Ngakwe, who's a nice speed rusher, and then Chris Jones, who can kind of just wreck anything up the middle, paired with Maurice Hurst, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm really hoping these guys accept it, because if they don't, I'm going to I'm gonna be mad. I'm going to be mad, to say the least. Come on. What? Oh, come on, bruh. Okay, at least we got Chris Jones. That's really the biggest issue right there. So, Ngakwe did reject it. I'm not too mad at that. We do a Feral there. Maybe we can upgrade into something. But getting Chris Jones, he has an X factor. That, that's going to be pretty big. That's going to be pretty freaking big. All right, guys. We picked number two overall. I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad at it. So, we can really take our pick here. So, two is off the board. Don't really want to go quarterback yet. I think we're going to go Chase Young. I, I honestly think he's going to be the best pass rusher. In this, I mean, well, just the best player in this draft coming up. A lot of quarterbacks are probably going to go off the board quick. But I got to go after Chase Young. I, we definitely need defensive line help. Looks like a monster. We're going after him. We're going after him. He's an 80 overall with hidden development. And we reached? Madden, are you serious? I don't think we reached there. Oh, wow. Okay. So he's got 81 speed. Great power move. Good finesse move. He's, he's got everything. Let's just say that. He's got everything. Oh, my God, dude. And he's got hidden development. We're going to have a nasty D-line. 
All right, guys, so the big question is here. Do we go cornerback or strong safety? Because there's a very nice safety on the board. Ooh, Jordan Fuller doesn't look bad a little bit later, though. Grant Delplitz definitely looking pretty juicy up there, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really liking Paulson Adebel. He's got B-plus man coverage, B-plus zone. We need a corner. We need a corner, and he ran a 4-3-9. We're going after him. We got to 77 overall. Yes, that's another hit for us. Another hit for us. Not the great pressing, but, man, I'll take it. I'll take that. Already a scheme fit with hidden development. That's a win. That's a win. We do need a left guard here after letting go of uh, our left guard. So we are going to go after this Josh Nimfuel. I guess he's the best guy available. I don't know, though. He doesn't have great bench, but we do need somebody out there. 72 overall. Could have been worse. Oh, wow. I actually, no. It probably couldn't have been worse. That's horrible. At least, hopefully, we just don't run a lot to the left, I guess, because he can pass block, but Jesus. 57 run block power? Are you serious? All right, so this is the last pick I'm going to show you guys unless I find a gym later here in the draft. So our last third round pick, our safety we wanted did go off the board, unfortunately. So we're likely going to have to take a chance here. We need a strong safety. So I'm going to go after Josh Meta Lewis. I don't know how to say that, but we'll go after it. We'll go after it. Oh, he has pretty good stats, man. He combine monster. Combine monster. Dude, he, was he just a combine monster? Really? I mean, he had some nasty combine stats. Not great stats, but he, he'll probably be a starter for us. See if he'll develop into somebody. If anything, he's a... Yeah, he's not even that speedy, to be honest. He's got 87 speed. Eh, okay, we'll see. We'll see if he does anything, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with those first two picks. Go after Chase Young, and then we go after freaking uh, that cornerback who ended up being pretty nice. So I'm not mad at that. We will go ahead and get right into year two, unless, again, I do find a gym later in the draft. All right, so pretty much the exact same offense here we're starting out with in year two. Only difference is we did add a left guard here. Nobody really regressed either, which is nice, so I'm liking it. Josh Jacobs had three upgrade points. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of upgrade points, to be honest. Defensively, we weren't able to address linebackers this uh, draft, but we, we went after our safety again. We don't know if we really hit on that yet. We still have Joyner out there. Uh, uh, what? Why is Jonathan Abram not starting? Come on. Well, he's just going to start at strong safety for us. Okay, well, yeah, that could have been really bad if I missed that. Because he looks... How is he only a 71 overall? What? Okay. Well, I mean, he's definitely going to start. So we'll bounce him over to strong safety. Thankfully, I freaking didn't miss that. That could have been pretty bad. But, uh, yeah. Actually, no, we'll probably move Joyner over to strong safety and have Abram... He's a free safety, right? Yeah, so we'll probably keep him at free safety. How is he only a 71 overall? Bro, I thought he would have been at least a 78. Yeah, he must have been on injured reserve or something. But, uh, so we got Farrell on the D-line, Chris Jones, Maurice Hurst, Chase Young. We should get pressure this year. I know that was a problem last year for us, but we should get pressure this year. We got Savages on the line. I'm wondering what uh, Chase Young's going to be. I'm, if he's an X-Factor, bro, paired with Chris Jones, that could be nasty. Then we got a Debo here playing corner. He's also going to be our slot guy for now. But uh, actually, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy about our safety core now that I see Abram here. So, yeah, I, I think we're pretty set on defense except linebackers and maybe a couple corners. Besides that, though, we're looking pretty good. I definitely feel like we should have a pretty nice year this year. We'll see, though. Guys, I guess we're back here and we're sitting out one and six. What is this crap? Looks like we did lose to the Titans close game. So I guess our best hope here is that we've just lost some very close games. Because I'm hoping that... Oh, wow, my God. I don't think I've ever seen 99 kick power. That's that's pretty insane. Um, Let's see here. Players, we got to resign. Zay Jones. Jesus. Wants a pretty decent contract. Holy crap. To be honest, he didn't do much for us last year. And he has great stats. I'd love to keep him. But when he wants to get paid like, you know, he's... A number two guy, maybe? I don't know. He put up one touchdown last year. So we might look elsewhere for talent. I don't know. We'll see if he breaks out this year. If so, we'll definitely resign him. Jonathan Hankins can go. We're looking pretty nice there. 
Uh, Whitehead, no thanks. Markel Lee, he's only 24, doesn't have bad stats. He has two upgrade points, actually. Really bad, okay, no, we're not going to bring him back. We want somebody that can at least zone coverage a little bit. So definitely not him. Uh, probably nobody. Yeah, there's there's literally nobody we want to bring back this uh, upcoming one, which isn't bad. Should leave us a decent amount of cap room to work with. No playoffs. No freaking playoffs. Okay. Um, that's that's not what I wanted to see there. But I guess when you start out one and six, it's probably gonna happen. Just go ahead and check out the upgrades. Ooh, our left guard had three upgrade points. That's pretty nice. Zay Jones with two. Hunter Renfro with two. Derek Carr is still upgrading. Oh, Chase Young. Oh, man. He only had star development? I was hoping for a superstar. Our corner had four upgrade points, though. At least these guys got some upgrade points on defense. That's definitely what we needed. What did we finish, though? That's the big question. 4-12? and 12? What is going on? Why are we so bad? I don't get it. We have decent talent. Derek Carr might be the issue. Oh, okay, that's not good. Holy crap, that's not good. What's going Man, we, I don't get it. Why is Derek Carr playing really bad? 3,700 yards, 29 touchdowns, 13 picks, 61% completion rate. Man, that's just not going to get it done. He got sacked 38 times, though. Josh Jacobs isn't even going off yet. I, the second running back's getting far too many carries for my liking. You know, Josh Jacobs is a kind of a workhorse back. So I'd, I'd love to see him get a bit higher carries. He only averaged 69 yards a game. That, that can't cut it out. Hunter Renfro leads the team in yards, though. 59, 808. That's not a bad year at all. 72 receptions, 800. 6 for Waller. Williams, pretty decent year, 61, 705. Zay Jones, not great, so we probably will let him go. Josh Jacobs, pretty good in the receiving game. Who, who's not holding up? Um, well, that would be our left guard who allowed 10 sacks. So our tackles aren't holding up, which is a little odd, considering Trent Brown is pretty good. I could see Colt Miller allowing 12, but... Man, our left guard allowing 10, that's that's detrimentally bad. Now, 97 tackles by Whitehead, 90 by Abram. Ooh, my. Abram had a freaking nasty year. Look at that. 90 tackles and 3 sacks, 2 picks. Okay, showing me he's going to be a nice safety for us. 88 tackles by Mullen, which is nice considering he's a corner. Man, how are we not getting pressure? What? We got Chase Young, freaking Farrell, Chris Jones. Are you serious? We should be getting pressure galore, bro. That's not good. Four and a half by the rookie. I, I don't get that at all. And we don't get many picks either. Two by Abram, two by the rookie safety. Johnson with two. Couple of one bombs here. I don't know, man. Do, do we move on from Carr already? I don't really want to. I think we'll give Carr one more year, and if he plays bad again, we'll probably have to move on from him. Because that's just not good stats, but I don't, I don't know if it's him yet. So, we'll give him another year, try to build a little bit more around him. And if he has another bad year, man, we, we might have to move on already. Alright, so we're back here again. There is some nice players, but not really the positions we need, unfortunately. But we are going to offer a couple people some contracts. We're going to go with Will Fuller. What do we need a receiver after letting go of uh, Zay Jones? And we need a speedster. Tyrell Williams, I don't think he's going to get behind people. Neither is Hunter Renfro. So I feel like if we get Will Fuller, I I'm going to like that. Because he can definitely fly with the best of them. Should have decent enough hands. And he's only 27. And then we're going to go after Zach Cunningham as well. We need a linebacker. We need someone that can lead our defense. And I think he can. Doesn't look like it by his overall. But if you take a look at his stats, he's got great play rec. And great awareness, so I'm really not sure why his uh, his stuff isn't higher here. Because look at those stats. He has pretty good all-around stats. I would say great all-around stats. He's nearly got 90 awareness and play rack and almost 90 tackling. And he can fly as a linebacker, so I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. What are we looking like with Wolf Fuller here? 
Got 95 speed. That's that's game breaking right there if we get him. Maybe maybe that's all we needed. We don't know. So we'll, this could bring out Carr's best year yet for us if we sign him. Please, Will Fuller, accept it. Please accept it. Please, please, please. Please, you bastard. Come on. Are you serious, bro? That's the second big name free agent to reject us. God dang, dude. Well, that puts a hole in my plans right there. We're going to have to address receiver probably in the draft. Gosh, dang it. Uh, well, we should pick fairly high. I guess that's all we have going for us right now. Uh, at least we get Zach Cunningham, though, a linebacker for us. But not really happy with this free agency period. I really wanted Fuller. Oh, man, we, did, we didn't hit a great draft, to be honest. Probably one of my worst drafts I've had. Probably one of them. It's up there. So we go after receiver. He, he was supposed to be nasty. He had great freaking combine stats. He had a 7.5 combine. Looked like a monster. A categories everywhere. Turns out to be a bust. Turns out to be a bit of a bust. He's still got hidden development at least. 72 overall. I mean, we can work with these stats, but they're, they're just not where I wanted them to be with the number two pick. So that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt really bad. So, and he doesn't even have speed, and he was supposed to be a deep threat. So I'm heated about that one. We go after a cornerback, and I'm not too mad at this one. We needed a corner. He's a 72 overall. Doesn't have the greatest of stats, but I think he can play the slot with that 94 agility. Decent catching. I think he can play it pretty well. So we'll see what he does there. And then we just, we whiff on the rest of these, to be honest. We just didn't hit anybody. So that's a little unfortunate. Definitely is one of my worst drafts. This receiver's getting paid, though. So he's got to be ecstatic about that with his skill set. I mean, look at that, bro. 19 contract signing bonus. He just got paid. And he's only a 72 overall receiver. I'm still heated about that one. I can't believe I took him. Can't believe it. So we are here in year three, and to be honest, man, not a whole lot's changed. We're, we're just trying to get these guys upgraded. Uh, can't really get rid of my offensive line. I was thinking about replacing Colton Miller, but I just thought wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. He's a first-round pick just a couple years ago. Uh, these guys just got to develop, and that's, that's what we're waiting on here. I think we're just waiting on our guys to develop a bit. Uh, offensive line, though, it's not bad. I mean, look at this. 86 overall. We got a great center. Uh, Gabe Jackson, he, he's highly freaking paid, in my opinion, for his skill set. But we're paying him for the time being. Colton Miller, uh, he's upgrading at least. So is our left guard. Now, we are going to start Dubios, or however you say that, Dubois, at our number one. Just because I picked him so high. And I think he could turn into somebody because he doesn't need a whole lot of XP to upgrade. And he's got hidden development, so we'll see. And let's be honest, Tyra Williams hasn't been doing much for us. So Hunter Renfro staying in the slot where he's the best suited for. Not mad at it. Derek Carr, uh, this is a prove-it year for him. Definitely a prove-it year. Job is on the line for him. Still, I'm loving this defensive line, man. Clee and Farrell, Jones, Hurst, and Chase Young. We, I mean, we should be getting after people. We should be getting after people with this line. I don't know. I don't want no four or five sack garbage. Corners. I finally am starting to like where we're at here. Adebo, again, just got to upgrade. Adebo's got to upgrade. Mullen and Weatherspoon, all young corners. But again, this is the toughest part about the Raiders rebuild. We got players. They just got to get upgraded. Metellus is going to start at strong... S oh, nope. Okay, man, why does it change that? So I have Abram starting at free safety, and then we put Joyner at strong safety. But I also have Abram playing in the box where we, we see him drop down quite a few times while well, we've seen before he got injured. He uh, plays in the box a lot. So we are going to have him play as a linebacker, and he had stats, good stats from it. So I definitely... Well, like that, linebackers, we finally addressed it a bit. So Hudson, I believe we picked him up in the draft. Humphreys, and then our big free agent signing, Cunningham. We'll see if he makes a difference for us, but I think he should. I think he should. I'm definitely liking what we're looking like so far over here on defense. At least we're starting to improve in year three. I think it's playoff time. I think it is the playoff time. 
Bro, are the writers cursed or something? What in the hell is going on here? Straight up, man. I mean, we go O in like four and two in the first season. We start out one and six the second season. Then we start out O and seven. Good lord, bro. Good lord. I don't get it. And I don't want to get it because I, I don't, I, I just don't. We might have to change our playbook up. Something, man. Something's got to change. Uh, defensive tackle here, Maurice Hurst. Going to bring him back. Colton Miller, he, he doesn't want a huge contract and he shouldn't considering how many tackles he's allowed. Or sacks. Either way, though, ah, man, that's a tough one. He's only 25. We, we've kept him this long. We might as well keep him. No terms and change in our mind now we've kept him we better keep him other than that again nobody man we might have to make a trade screw it after this we we, we might have to go after a big name player i don't know because it, something's not working out here i don't know if it's quarterback i don't know if it's wide receiver i, I mean I, I honestly i don't so i don't know we're gonna have to test some stuff out but we'll definitely bring these two players back and We'll see what happens at the end of the year. It's not looking good already. Well, we should be used to this by now. We should be freaking used to this. Just got beat down by Kansas City. Holy crap. 42 to 21. Okay. Not great. It's not a great sight if you're a Raider fan there. <laughs> Jesus. 2 and 14. We're getting worse. We're getting worse. How is that even possible? We at least finished 4 and 12 last year. Jesus, bro, this is one of the weirdest rebuilds I've ever had. I don't know if an update did something weird to the sim or what, but oh wow, okay. I can I can deal with this. This guy's got six upgrade points. That'll help. That'll help. Um yeah, that's I don't know. Derek Carr's starting to regress, it looks like. Maybe it's time to get rid of him. Any upgrades here? Not really, to be honest. Couple by Abram. Wow, four actually by Abram. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'll take it. Um, let's go ahead and check out the stats. See how we did. 30th in offensive yards. Hold. Jesus, are you kidding me, Derek Carr? That's a horrible year. What is... You're getting worse with time. My God. 3,100 yards. 23 touchdowns, 13 picks. We're trading him. He's gone. Hey, bro, we might go after Cam. That could be an option. Cam's on the board, possibly. I always thought the Raiders might be an option for him. Bro, we might go after Cam. That could work out. 23 touchdowns, 13 picks. Can't happen. Josh Jacobs, finally. He, this is probably his best year here. Got a decent workload, finally. He had 1,280 yards, 8 touchdowns. Pretty good year. Receiving here, Darren Waller, looking pretty nice, 7,706. Rookie receiver, only 50 receptions, but he had 657 yards, 3 TDs. It's not a whole lot of touchdowns anywhere, man. Anywhere. Blocking, uh, okay, why did I sign you, Colton Miller? Why did I sign you? 17 sacks allowed? That's a, more than a sack a game, bro. Oh my god. At least one person's playing off, and that's Zach Cunningham and freaking Jonathan Abram. He's, 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 Abram's played like a monster, second year in a row. Mullen with 90, Adebo with 90. Do we get pressure at least? Okay, finally, somebody with a little bit of sacks. Eight, and then the f just nothing. Three and a half, which I'm not getting by Farrell. He's got like 90 finesse move. Two and a half by Hurst. Couple here. How Chase Young with one and a half? Really? Bro, there's the most talented guy coming into the draft next year, likely. Are you serious? I, I'm a bit heated that he didn't have an X Factor, to be honest with you. I for sure thought he'd have an X Factor. That's pretty much why I went after him. Picks. Two by Abram, two by Joyner. That's nice to see. And then just nothing. How did Chase Young get a pick? Cunningham, Mullen. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's impressive, Chase Young getting a pick. But besides that, not much. Not much here. We're, we're, I'm, we're probably going to get rid of Carr. Might trade for Cam Newton. Multiple things could be going down here in the offseason. 
So unfortunately, trading for Cam Newton w wouldn't have been worth it at all because he's same overall as Derek Carr, didn't have great accuracies, um, and he was up there in age as well. So I, f I feel like we need to go receiver, and we do have the number one overall pick, so we'll just have to go quarterback. Derek Carr, I don't think he's the answer, especially after that last year he just had, which was horrible. It was horrible, and I need a receiver. A, a good one, Stefan Diggs, I think is that. So we're going to go after him. Actually, you know what? Instead of throwing in that, we might we might throw in Tyrell Williams. Because we can't really use him. And we need to clear up a bit of cap. Because I'll use Du Bois, Renfro, and then Diggs. So we'll see if they accept this. Oh, barely declined. We might not be able to trade him Williams. We'll just give up a pick, I guess. Fourth rounder. That should get us Diggs. Yeah, it does. So we give up Carr, a second round pick, and a fourth round pick, and we get Stefan Diggs, 94 overall receiver. I'm not mad at that. Considering we have the number one overall pick, we can go after a quarterback if we'd like. I'll take it. I'll take that trade all day. And then we do have a free agent signing here. Not a great one at all, but, well, I never mind. Not I, I don't know what I was thinking. Yes, yeah, a great one. We're going after Yair Alexander. Uh... He wants a hell of a lot of money, and we're going to give it to him and more. Because I need this. If he if he does not accept this, oh my god. We need this guy. And, oh my god, he's 99 zone coverage, please. Uh, oh god, it's the freaking uh, glitch again with the X Factor. People have been asking, uh, how did you fix this? I actually made a video on it. Yeah, you just have to change their... When they're glitched like this, you just have to change their X Factor to none and then change it back, which is a little rough because they could lose some stuff. But you got to do it. I, I don't know why Madden won't address this, but they, they need to address that because it's quite irritating. But come on, Yair, please. Please, you're in part of my plan. Dude, I don't get it. What, what do I got to do? I, I'm offering them well above anything they could want here. I mean, well above it. We were, we were going to make him the highest paid corner ever. And he did. Oh, my gosh. I don't get it, man. I, I, I guess we have a wide receiver. Now we'll see what we can do in the draft. All right, guys. I, I'm seeing a pretty decent option here. So we got Jalen Hurts, quarterback for the Jets. They got Sam Darnold starting. So yeah, he's not bad. 80 overall. I'll take it. Uh, definitely don't want to give up a first a number one overall pick, though. I think a third should get that done. He's not even their starting quarterback. Oh, what? Bro, he's not starting. Trade me the guy. I guess we'll have to give up a first later. I need him. You, what is the logic of the CPU here? There, he's not starting. For real? Bro, we might actually have to give up our number one overall pick to get this. That is some garbage. Oh my god. I can't believe it. They're actually not going to accept a first round pick for their second string quarterback? Hello? Is this real life? Okay, man. Wow, that's, that's trash right there is what that is. We're going to have to give up the number one pick. And that might not even get it done. Um, yeah, so about that. We're not going to be able to trade for a quarterback because the CPU is trashed. Are you kidding? What is that, man? Holy crap, that's that's insane. Oh my god, that... Wow, that's really bad. I can't believe it, man. Oh, we're just going to have to take a chance on a quarterback. Screw it. I guess we'll go after Zach Caldwell. Whoever that is. All right, let's do it. And that's that's a, that's kind of shows you how the rebuild's been going. Are you okay? Okay. You know what, man? I gotta tell you something. My blood is freaking boiling after that last one. After that last one, where the Jets would not accept the number one overall pick for a backup quarterback, I I, I had to take a break. I had to take a break. Now we're back, though. Um, our 63 overall qu quarterback is going to be starting for us. Yep. Uh, yeah, and we're in the fourth year. Not good. At least we got a receiver. At least we got a receiver. 
I don't really want Tyro Williams to start, to be honest. I like Dubos and uh, Renfro. So Williams is going to bounce down to number three. Not even going to attempt a trade because they just don't work out. They just never do. So yeah, there's no reason to attempt that. Defensively, still looking pretty much the same. We Oh wow, Jonathan Abram's up to a superstar. I'll take that. Does he got any abilities? After we hit his upgrades here, we'll hit the auto upgrades. And then he should get an ability, which should be nice. Couple of upgrades for our linebackers. I'll take it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Defense isn't looking shabby at all. But, I mean, I, I don't think this guy could play worse than Derek Carr did the last year at least, though. Even though he's a 63 overall quarterback. Watch him play better than Derek Carr did the whole rebuild, dude. Just watch it. It's probably going to happen. But we'll see. He's got an elite receiver to throw to. Uh, but we just did get blown out in the preseason 26-0. to by the Giants, which isn't a good sign, but let's get to midseason. Holy hell, bros. Are, I mean, I, I, I honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This has got to be the worst rebuild I've ever done. Like, the Raiders, they don't win. They just don't. I know we don't have a quarterback at the moment, but when we had Carr, it was, it was the same thing. I don't get it. I really, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what is going wrong here. I've tried quarterback. Obviously, we don't have a good one to begin with, but not much I could do about that. Tried to trade for one, got screwed over. Um, yeah, and we're about to pay all of our money to our rookies. Holy crap. So, Trent Brown needs re-signed. So, oh, wow, he doesn't want a big contract. I'll take that. Josh Jacobs doesn't want a huge contract either. He's definitely coming back. Tyrell can take a hike. Clean Farrell, yes. LaMarcus Joyner, probably. He only wants a two-mail deal. I'll take it. Gabe Jackson, sure. Hunter Renfro, yes. Oh, why? Oh, my God. How many people do we got to resign? Jonathan Abram, Mullins. These guys don't want big deals, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah, it looks like we should be able to get some of these guys on pretty cheap deals. Um, I guess there's one bright spot. We should have a decent amount of cap, considering we got rid of Derek Carr, who had a 100 mil contract. But... Besides that, there's not really any bright spots. Yep, another year here, no playoffs. Again, oh wow, finally, holy crap, we almost have a freaking even record. Holy crap. That's uh, that's a win for us, that's a freaking win. 7-9, that, that's, that's our Super Bowl, that's our Super Bowl. Jesus, dude. What did our quarterback, I mean he didn't play worse than Derek Carr. From the stats I'm seeing here. Didn't play worse at all. He played better. A 66 overall quarterback played better than Derek Carr did. Oh, my God. 3,600 yards, 25 touchdowns, 11 picks, 66% completion rate. I mean, to be honest, man, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that. I'll take it. For his first year, sure. Rushing here. Oh, wow. Didn't get many touchdowns. I don't get that. Sometimes Josh Jacobs will get touchdowns and then... Sometimes he just won't, so not great there. Receiving, Stefan Diggs comes in, gives us a 1,000 yards, which is nice. Four touchdowns. Renfro, 5,609. 57, about 603 from our tight end. Excuse me there. Dubos. Dubois. Uh, du what is that name? Dubois? 64, 602 for him. Josh Jacobs, pretty good receiving stats. Who had five? Spencer Brown had five touchdowns. Receiving? He only had ten receptions. Jesus. Sacks, okay. Um, why did I pay you, bro, if you can't even block a piece of paper? You had 23 sacks allowed? Oh, wow. I mean, I, I, this has got to be one of the worst rebuilds I think we've ever had. I mean, it just nothing's going right for us. Anything. I mean, you talk about one thing, and there's literally nothing. Zach Cunningham, 103 tackles, 102 by Abram. I guess Abram. Sacks. Fine. How? We got pressure, finally. Nine and a half sacks by Farrell. Eight and a half by Young. Eight by Chris Jones. Pretty good defensive stats, man. Not a whole lot of picks. 
Three by Abram, two by Witherspoon, couple of one bombs. Besides that, though, not good. Not freaking good. And we're heading into year five. We got a lot of money to spend, though. A lot of money to spend, and you can bet on it. I'm going to spend all of it. I'm spending all of it. Our right, guys in free agency. Now, when I said I, I wasn't messing around here, I meant it. We're literally spending everything. We're going after Kevin Zeitler. Big news here. We did lose Rodney Hudson, though, so uh, we don't have a center. So I'm going after Zeitler because I am going to bounce Gabe Jackson to center. I guess that's our best option for now. But, uh, so we're going to have to, oh no, never mind. I'm going after Paradis at center, but Gabe Jackson just hasn't lived up. So we are going to get Zeitler to play right guard. Might bounce Gabe Jackson to left guard. We'll see. We're going to have to go after Chris Harris. We're going to go after Jelani Tavai here. Superstar linebacker. We do need one of those. Going to go after Zadarius Smith. He'll probably be one of our pass rushers as well. But, uh, we need a linebacker too over there. We need a safety because Lamarcus Joyner, he's regressing. And I want Abram to continue playing in the box like he does. So I think what we'll do is we'll put Abram at strong safety. So when he's not playing in the box, he can play over there. Joyner will be behind him. And then we'll just have Earl Thomas play free safety. We're going to have to pair this. And then our quarterback is going to be Danny Dimes. That's the best quarterback available. So we're going to have to go after him. It's rough, but you know what? Danny Dimes, see if he's got a little magic in that arm for a year. See if he's got a little magic in that arm for a year. We'll see. Let's go ahead and see if these guys accept it. Probably not. Probably not. Accept it, accept it, accept it, accept it. All right. Well, we got a lot of people here. Is that everybody we asked for? I think there's somebody that... No, we got everybody. All right. I'll take it. So everybody we signed, we got... Um, probably won't show the draft, to be honest. Probably not going to get anybody that's going to start. But if there is, I will show you guys. And if not, we'll get right into the start of year five. Oh, we know what time it is. It's Super Bowl or bust time right now. So that's that's a little hairy. That's a little bit hairy. Well, more than a little. But uh, we, we're the best team we've been in all this rebuild. Do got Danny Dimes. We'll see how he plays. Josh Jacobs hasn't upgraded as well as I would have liked. Do have a nice receiving core. I'm not mad at it. Stefan Diggs, Dubios, Renfro, Waller. Pretty nice offensive line. Probably Colton Miller is going to allow 30 sacks this year, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so this is what the O-line's looking like. Defense. We're looking pretty nasty on defense. Bit heated, though. Because Chris Jones' X-Factor is freaking glitched this whole time. I can't stand when that happens. Madden really needs to fix that. But we're looking juicy right now. So we got Chris Harris at corner. Uh, corners just all together are nice. We got a Debo, Mullen, Weatherspoon, Great defensive line. Earl Thomas is going to pay strong safety. Abram at free safety. Who will also bounce as a linebacker. And then when he does, Joyner will bounce up as a free safety. Got Darius Smith, who will be one of our pass rushers. Cunningham, Tyvee. I mean, we've upgraded so much just in that offseason. we got to make something happen here. we got to. Uh, it, it's the last year, too. It is Super Bowl or bust. So I'm not going to check back at midseason or anything like that. Because we don't need to resign anybody. It is the last year. So we'll just head straight to the playoffs. And see if we made it or if we just freaking destroyed the whole rebuild. Because Madden cheesed me a bit, but uh, you know what? We'll see. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take it, man. <laughs> okay. We freaking beat. Well, we'll just make the playoffs. We make the playoffs. Holy crap. At 8-8. Eight and eight. That's a win. That's a win. Super Bowl aspirations? Yeah, so do I. It's the last year. So last year, holy how did we make the playoffs? We finished third in the division at 8-8, eight and eight and we still made them. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, Danny Dimes showed up, it looks like. 3,700 yards, 31 touchdowns to six picks, 69% completion rate. Great year. Running the ball, Josh Jacobs has a good one. 1,100 yards, 9 TDs. Receiving 81, 1,008 for Diggs. Dubois had a nice year. Renfro, really nice year. Waller, too. 
Blocking, we didn't do good though. It already said Danny Dimes allowed 40 sacks. Actually, no, we did fine. Well, it said he got sacked 40 times, but he must have ruled out on his own on some of them. So we got 118 tackles by Cunningham, 113 by Abram, 89 by Adebo. Sacks, dude, we just not getting any. Don't get it. How are we not getting sacks? Interceptions, not many. Wow. Okay, that's that's definitely odd. I mean, we have playmakers all over on the defense. Sean McVay's for the Jets? Okay. Okay. Um, But that's going to do it, man. We'll head into the playoffs here. See what our team can do against Denver. Probably won't play the moment. We'll just let our team play it out. See what happens. Let's get into it. Playing a division rival to start it. All right, first playoff appearance. We'll see how it goes. We're taking on the Broncos, and okay. We're off to a 10-3 lead. Make it 17-3. Okay, field goals isn't going to win us the game, though, okay? Oh, oh man, we're, it looks like we're just going to get shut out, maybe. We got a chance. No, we don't. It's over. Holy crap, dude. I mean, you can't get much more worse on the rebuild than this one. I, I, I don't know what it was. I really don't. We just weren't winning. And I I, it, I didn't get any kind of feel for what it was. What was the problem? I know quarterback was, but Danny Dimes came in and played like an animal. So I don't know. I I, I honestly, I, I don't know if the Raiders were cursed in Madden or what. But you don't ever see him in the playoffs, usually in the sim. So I don't. How do the, how do the Broncos have Andrew Locke? He's retired. Hello? Um, okay, I guess they got him somehow, and I am using the updated roster, so that's very odd. Okay, Danny Dimes didn't have a bad game, just didn't have a great completion rate. I mean, that rebuild was just rough. Yeah, like I said, just didn't get any sign of what the problem was. We were loaded everywhere. X-Factors, though, I can tell you that was a problem. Because a couple of my X-Factors were not showing up, and I, I don't know how to fix it. I, my fix, old fix isn't working it, because the X factor is there, but when you enter the game, it's just not. So I don't know what that means, but Madden needs to fix that crap, but Jesus, this rebuild was rough. Definitely sometime we'll be trying to get this one back because we just didn't do it great. We'll be getting rid of Derek Carr way earlier than I did, but uh, it was a fun rebuild. Uh, um, yeah, it was fun. Let's just leave it at that. Let me know what you guys thought about it. But uh, I definitely feel like I got screwed over a bit. Let me know what you guys think. But let me know who you guys do want to see next rebuild. If you guys are already not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do that. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers here. So I really would appreciate any support you guys show. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.